hello viewers welcome to my channel have a look at this audiogram this is audiogram of right ear and this is audiogram of left ear in the right ear the upper green line signifies bone conduction and the lower red line is for air conduction similarly in the left ear the upper green line signifies bone conduction and the lower blue line is for air conduction now how to read this audiogram before understanding how to read this we have to know how the audiogram is graphed this is an audiometer this audiometer is an electronic device which produces pure tones and the intensity of which can be increased or decreased in five decibel steps so audiometer produces pure tones and what is pure tone pure tone is a single frequency sound apsica or x coordinate of the graph is for frequency of the sound which ranges from 125 hertz to 8000 hertz ordinate or y coordinate of the graph is for intensity of the sound which ranges from minus 10 decibel to 120 decibel the top line at 0 decibel or minus 10 decibel represents very soft sound and with each horizontal line below representing successively louder sounds 0 decibel does not mean that there is no sound at all Rather, it is the softest sound that a person with normal hearing ability would be able to detect at least 50% of time. In some audiogram, it begins from minus 10 decibel or even lower. The ideal test environment for pure tone audiometry is it should have sound insulated test room where the listener is placed during the test. There should be absence of visual and other sensory distractions. Acceptable ventilation should be provided. Person to be tested is taken into a soundproof room. Then his air conduction and bone conduction of each ear is measured with the help of a pure tone audiometer. For testing air conduction level, sound is transmitted via earphone or foam inserts first the tester will produce a sound of 125 hertz frequency with the help of audiometer and at first the intensity should be 0 decibel or minus 10 decibel then gradually the tester increases the loudness or decibel the patient is asked to signal as soon as he hears the tone bone conduction sounds estimate the sensory neural hearing reserve using a bone vibrator placed on the mastoid to stimulate the cochlea directly Now look at the audiogram of right ear. Here the red line is for air conduction and how this line is constructed. First, the audiometrist has chosen 250 Hz to be tested. So he produces by pure tone audiometer a tone of 250 Hz first at an intensity of minus 10 decibel and ask the person if he or she hears it. If the person hears it, he or she responds. In minus 10 decibel, the person does not respond. So the audiometrist increases the intensity gradually and the audiometrist finds that the person hears when the intensity is increased to 30 decibel. So the audiometrist gives a mark here that means 
at 250 hertz frequency the person starts hearing from an intensity level of 30 decibel next audiometrist produces a sound of 500 hertz with the help of audiometer first at minus 10 decibel then gradually increases it until patient hears it and he finds that patient hears at 30 decibel so another mark is given here next the audiometrist finds that at 1000 hertz the person hears at 40 decibel intensity at 2000 hertz the person hears at 45 decibel intensity and so on thus the ear conduction curve of right ear is measured similarly the bone conduction curve is constructed using the same manner now how to interpret first i will start with an audiogram of a normal hearing person have a look at this audiogram in this audiogram red ear conduction curve and the green bone conduction curve both are within 25 decibel both the curve both bone conduction and ear conduction curve are within 25 decibel and 0 to 25 decibel hearing loss is considered normal in adult in case of children it is 0 to 15 decibel and you can also see that the two curves are very close to each other that there is no gap between them or gap is less than 10 decibel between these two curves the gap between bone conduction curve and air conduction curve is called ab gap and the ab gap is normal up to 10 decibel so this air is completely normal because both the bone conduction curve and air conduction curve are within 25 decibel and the ab gap is less than 10 decibel same thing is in case of left ear that is completely normal now have a look at the audiogram of right ear in this case in this case the bone conduction curve is within 25 decibel but look at the gap between bone conduction curve and ear conduction curve the gap is more than 10 decibel so here there is conductive hearing loss and how to measure that how much conductive hearing loss the person is having in case of measurement we have to consider the 500 hertz the 1000 hertz and 2000 hertz frequency because in our day-to-day -day activities we hear most of the sound within these frequency ranges so we have to consider these three this this and this look at 500 hertz the ab gap is 15 here at 15 and it is at 15 and it is at 30 so the gap is 15 here at 1000 hertz the ab gap is 10 20 20 and here in 2000 hertz the ab gap is 10 20 25 so what is the average so the average of 15 20 and 25 is 20 so the ab gap average is 20 which is more than 10 so here there is conductive hearing loss and how to grade whether it is mild moderate or severe type conductive hearing loss during grading the grading is based on air conduction curve the grading is based on air conduction curve look at here when the air conduction curve is between 26 to 40 decibel it is termed as mild hearing loss when it is between 41 decibel to 55 decibel 
it is moderate hearing loss. When it is between 56 to 70 decibel, it is moderately severe hearing loss. When it is between 71 to 90 decibel, it is severe hearing loss. And when it is between 91 to 120 decibel, then it is profound hearing loss. Here, the air conduction curve is within 26 to 40 decibel. So, the patient has mild conductive hearing loss of right ear. Now have a look at the audiogram of left ear. Here the bone conduction curve and the air conduction curve is very close to each other and AV gap is less than 10 decibel in 500 Hz, 1000 Hz and 2000 Hz frequency. So there is no conductive hearing loss as the AB gap is less than 10 decibel. But the bone conduction curve is greater than or below than 25 decibel. So there is definitely sensory neural hearing loss but no conductive hearing loss. And if we want to measure how much the sensory neural hearing loss then at 500 Hz, the sensor neural hearing loss is 45 decibel. At 1000 Hz, the sensor neural hearing loss is 40 decibel. And at 2000 Hz, the sensor neural hearing loss is 40 decibel. So the average of 45, 40, and 40 is 43 point something. So here there is sensor neural hearing loss of 43 decibel and the grading of mild moderate and severe sensor neural hearing loss is according to WHO guideline which I have shown. Now have a look at the audiogram of right ear. Here both the bone conduction curve and ear conduction curve is below 25 decibel that is hearing loss is more than 25 decibel in case of air conduction and bone conduction and the AB gap look look at the AB gap AB gap is more than 10 decibel so here there is conductive hearing loss due to large AB gap and there is sensory neural hearing loss as the bone conduction curve is below 25 decibel or sensory neural hearing loss is more than 25 decibel so it is a mixed type of hearing loss. In this case, how to grade the hearing loss of mixed type of hearing loss, whether it is mild, moderate, severe, or uh, profound. This is based on air conduction curve. When you want to grade the hearing loss, you have to do it based on the air conduction curve. Here, the air conduction curve is at 90 decibel. So the patient has severe hearing loss. Severe mixed hearing loss of right ear. This is how we have to differentiate normal pure tone audiometer, a pure tone audiometer with conductive hearing loss, a pure tone audiometer with sensor neural hearing loss and a pure tone audiometer of mixed hearing loss and how to grade it. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.